<laughs> right? <laughs> All players, Run DeSantis, aka Run DeSanctimonious, is pissed to the highest level of festivity with Madam Vice President Kamala Harris, honey. So he decided to write her a letter. Y'all go ahead and take a listen. I hate your stinking guts. You make me vomit. <laughs> Your scum between my toes. <laughs> I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Run the sanctimonious had to pull out the alfalfa. Y'all know he don't like Madam Vice President Kamala Harris. And he shows that every time he talks about her, honey, he mispronounces her name on purpose every time. But, I mean, honestly, he doesn't even know how to pronounce his own name, so I'm not surprised. So Ron DeSanctimonious is still pissed to the highest level of pissivity that he is rightfully being drugged all through the internet streets because of this black history structure that was introduced by the Florida Department of Education. Now at first he tried to backpedal and pussy pop out of it, honey. Flanked by all the white people that he could find, he basically said, hey, I didn't write it. It was some scholars that wrote it. But now he's been gallivanting all around the country trying to defend this disgusting display. I mean, in Florida, they have decided to teach middle school students that enslaved people benefited from slavery. So shortly after this new structure was introduced, the Madam Vice President scurried on down there to Florida and said what she had to say. Let us not be distracted by what they're trying to do, which is to create unnecessary debates to divide our country. And everything she said was absolutely true, but Run DeSanctimonious likes to keep himself and Florida in the dark. So now he has pulled out the loose leaf paper and penned a letter to the Madam Vice President, honey. And he is inviting her to Florida to debate the structure with him and another scholar, he said. So he says Florida is the number one state in the nation for education. Now, Florida being number one in education is something that Run DeSantis loved to go around and brag about. And that ranking comes from the U.S. News Education Rankings. But if you look at their website, they use a very limited number of matrix. And those matrix include graduation rates, cost of tuition, depth at graduation, and the number of citizens in each state who hold a college degree. Now you tell me what does that have to do with the quality of education coming from Florida and the way that Ron DeSantis keep fooling around with it is going to be in the dust before long. So again, Ron DeSantis wants to challenge Madam Vice President Harris to a debate on whether slaves benefited from slavery. This is unnecessary to debate whether enslaved people benefited from slavery. Are you kidding me? Are we supposed to debate that? I declare, honey, what a disgrace. But I'm hoping that the Madam Vice President takes a note from another great lady in Congress, Nancy Pelosi, and put that doggone piece of loose leaf paper exactly where it belongs in file 13. She did. She went. Sure did. A stunning moment. <laughs> Players, put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is Doba D. Mobile for the Black Accurate News.